gets the distance over the earphone jump as well, goes to the outside, tries to get the slingshot, and Jonas doesn't get over the gap. Siwa has to be careful there. So the top two guys in the MX2 World Championship standings, first and second, pulls, jo pulls Jonas as uh, Muse, I think. So uh, Jonas and Siwa fighting over second and third in this qualifying race. And uh, Jonas doing his best to stay up. He was very, very lucky not to tip over there on his Red Bull KTM. Well, that was just a, an open invite for the number 91 of Jeremy Seaway to go through. There'll be a lot of Swiss fans making some noise here. The border just 20 minutes away, maybe even closer, but looks like he's... Oh, he almost makes a mistake. And Jonas almost back in. Bogus is fourth, Puches is five. They're about three or four seconds, not even three or four seconds back because he just saw the 189 flashing into view there a moment ago on his HSF Logistics Motorsport KTM. Oh, backhand do get out of shape down that hill. Big tram lines, big deep ruts at the bottom there. Uphill, over that small double. Then the short little hip jump, look at uh, Hunter Lawrence, he's about six seconds clear at the moment, he set the fastest lap on that opening lap, a 54-4. Amazing what clear track can do as Jonas just tries to ruffle the feathers of Jeremy uh, Siwa. David Puches is not too far back, he's in sixth place. Jacoby, he's having a great ride in seventh position, riding the number 29 STC race in Husqvarna. Jed Beaton, so too. He's up to seventh. He was 15th on the opening lap. As uh, Siwa gets out dragged there by Jonas, who uh, was very short on the landing there, Jeremy Siwa. So Jonas back into second. Siwa down to third. Bogus four, Pooch's five, Jacoby six, Jed Beaton up to seventh with a uh, two minute personal best lap time that time around, two minute point three.